What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to part 15 of the USA campaign. In the last part, we fought a battle. Our, uh. <laughs> Discretion is guaranteed. Our assassins are making their way over to Texas. Since assassination really doesn't hurt your, uh. Anything else? Your thing with the people. Your instruction. I think we we're okay with this being Catholic. Religious unrest really isn't hurting that much. Not to mention these guys will be uh, recruiting here and should make them. Anyway, I'm going to keep Sir. these guys here. One more turn to retrain. And we can take on that Spanish force. They just got a bunch of melee troops. One line, some frontiersmen, and some cannons. Oh, my, yes. I want these guys to be retrained. So uh, yeah, that's how things were staying. Let's go back over to India. Sir. Troops. Okay, with these guys here, we're gonna attack Kabul once we regroup. Trying to gather up the soldiers. This guy's three star. Humble, sir. Okay. So that's basically a full stack. I'll take these guys also. Onward. Ready and awaiting order. Okay, we'll attack Kabul the next turn. Now, the plans for this campaign... We're gonna take this territory here. We're gonna take this territory. And this one. So, four territories. And I think I'll end the campaign. I don't really want to get too much into this. But, I mean... America, this area here is basically... As soon as I defeat this army, it should be basically mine. So, let's end a turn. These guys are uh, going to Santa Fe to uh, convert those people at least. But I gotta get to the Spanish. They have some pretty strong priests. To move forever to get that guy out of Florida. <laughs> there was actually three. It took me like I lost, I wanna say, three spies. And I had like eight guys down there at one time. I mean, spies are pretty easy to come by. I just wish that you could recruit them. Okay, welcome back after that short pause. All the only news we did get was uh the raiding my trade route. These guys are contento. Okay, now we shall try. No, I don't even think we want to, cause who cares? Sir. My frog and S. Where did that big Spanish army go? Discretion is assured. No one will know. No joke. A giant army like that just doesn't disappear. I wonder. What do you require of me? I shall rest a little. Where the hell did that Spanish army go? How can I help? Ah, there you are. Going undercover. Yes. Gosh, we still need one more turn to uh Still need one more turn to at least heal my guys a little bit better. Your orders. Death awaits you require. Ah, oh, nice. If I left my guy in there and then attacked, then they'd be screwed. Okay, so the general's gone. At the ready. Oh, we just lost so many men. Mm. No use daunting over it. Does that mean make sense? No use daunting. No use uh, complaining about that. Making decent money. How about the trade fleets? Hello. You're not getting any trade, are you? Who do we want? Denmark. You know, you can always get trade if you offer them money. Let's just hope I didn't just prove myself wrong. Or not. <laughs> okay, I'll offer you 1500 Final offer. Take it or leave it. Deal or no deal. Give you some military access. 
Screw you, Denmark. Never liked you from my Danish campaigns. Give you indefinite. And I'll offer you a thousand dollars. Ah, I still don't get why people. Whatever, we're turning all the major powers. Except the Mughal Empire, which I want to really call a major power. And Spain. Okay, so let's. Do we really want to end? Let's see, these trade harbors can make trade ships. You know, it might as well be time that we start increasing our wealth, if you know what I mean. So these ships are gonna build up, we'll meet them probably around here, and then we'll sail down to Brazil and get some trade ports. Cool, that's the plan. So let's end one more turn. This guy's gonna continue to move. This way I'll know where that army goes. I've got agents all around here that can see. And plus we got rid of their general, so that's a good thing. You know, a general, a three-star general is definitely going to make it harder to, um, going to make it harder basically so that is the plan it's kind of interesting how India has in the regular campaign there's a USA campaign in the regular campaign it always has a uh, Mughal Empire Maratha and those uh Mizul or something there is uh, other that other faction so I'm still taking in about 10k it's pretty dang good. And that now that we've got that uh, other faction going to deal with. New York is just making the assassins. I call them assassins. I don't care if they're named Rook. It's damn Spanish. Now, why the hell am I at war with these stupid... Uh... What are they called? Italian states? I'll have you three thousand dollars to stop raiding my trade. You want all my money? You are out of your mind. Five thousand. Seven thousand final offer. You know what, fuck, fuck it. <laughs> we'll just do that. I really don't care. I'll hopefully get these guys off my trade routes. Yeah, that brings up my money significantly. Just says, if you have money, you don't really need a giant navy. I'm a pretty incompetent naval commander. I'll admit that myself, that I'm not the best naval commander out there. Ready for okay... This army's fully retrained. Slaughter we will them. slaughter them. Nice. It's a quick save. Just in case. Okay, so they've got some horse, they got some artillery. Yep, I'll see you there. Welcome back. We're once again looking at the dragoons at the very beginning. You know, I hate this Texas countryside. It's always like, uh, hilly like this. Wow, that's ridiculous. Where is this artillery? Always protecting it with your light cab. Move up my artillery to this ridge here to shoot at the guys. Anyway, yes, 
just gonna commit two of my light dragoons to that battle and the rest is gonna go take out this artillery now I'm gonna bypass these guys on the initial charge and then come around and try to get rid of them quicker that way I'm actually impressed I haven't seen the AI do defenses before it's kinda cool Well, this maneuver didn't exactly work perfectly. You think my cab is better? <sighs> okay, back to the artillery. Said I was gonna bring them on this ridge, and that's what we're gonna do. Come on! I don't like my Dragoons anymore. I don't think the US had very good cavalry in the... I don't think we ever had really good solid cav, at least in this game. Cavalry originally started out as a noble's, uh... Only nobles in battle in the early centuries could, uh, field horses and stuff. Like, if you look at the Greek armies, Oh, these idiots want to attack you, do they? Are you kidding me? This is BS. My Dragoons got routed from a light cavalry unit? Yep, that was ridiculous. I cannot believe it. Some some colonial light cav just routed my guys. The general's riding over now. Okay, hopefully him charging to the rear of these guys will... Uh, Oh yeah, that did some damage. That was ridiculous. Look, there's like one guy here. Why are my guys just dying? Hey, our inventory really isn't doing anything. bring these guys maybe it's because my cavalry get run a lot well come on there are ten of these guys that's right knock them off their horses No, we can just march them slowly. Did you just see the... Oh, they saw the cannon. General does not have the, uh, the option to march, unfortunately. This might actually shield some other guys. Yeah, they just had poor morale. I already killed their general. It's dangerous kind of navigating my cab here also. Look at that. Is it me, or did I... Remember I said uh, a couple parts ago I noticed blood effects for like the first time? I don't know why, but uh, Steve... The uh, recorder I'm using just decided to give out here. So I'm doing a post live commentary to the uh, last five minutes of this battle. Anyway, 
the campaign is going pretty well at this point. My artillery just hit my cab right there. Sucks, my own artillery. And then, uh, yeah, the Spanish are basically almost done routing, or so I think. Yeah, and then I'm just getting my troops to come in. Now, what I had to keep in mind, though, was that a lot of... Sp I couldn't get my cab killed on those uh, spikes there. <laughs> These are some frontiersmen. They're just gonna get screwed by American bayonet power. So I'll give you a nice little close up of this. Yeah, I love the bayonet charges. Anyway, my cab, I left my cab in there and look, this giant Spanish force just came out. There were a ton of Indians, they were just hiding like that in the tall grass. So I'm desperately trying to get my men back, put fire at will on. And it's not looking good. Uh, these, these are melee troops, so. I actually got my artillery coming in. I'm starting to target uh, the blob of Spanish soldiers. Now that U that one US regiment's in front, and they are just gonna get pummeled. We got like four units, but I'm I'm using them so we can shoot it into the Spanish. And uh you know they got good bayonets. I'm also gonna bring up my jar, I'm gonna be careful not to impale him on those defenses they did set up. Like I said earlier in this battle, like I was surprised it was the first time I saw the AI actually set up defenses. I mean, I prefer the trenches over the other things. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm calling in some more melee attacks. And these guys are actually going to start taking shots in. So those Indians there. Meanwhile, that uh, other one that's in the front is taking on these two uh, Indian units. And then those guys behind them are not really doing anything, but I can't really put them anywhere else. But I mean, my guys, these bayonets were actually out fighting the Indians in melee. Also, I think some of them might be tired. And we, we killed their general at the very beginning, so that's going to have a morale impact. Now we got some militia. I need to uh, form up my guys. Yeah, my guys are killing them. And then behind, to the right of those guys I just zoomed in on, those guys are making a real impression. As you can see, the Spanish army is starting to withdraw. They able to repulse their big attack. Yeah, so that should be just about it for this battle. Yeah, you can see the militia running. Yeah, okay, I'll see you back in the campaign with the results. As you can see, my soldiers had a pretty handy victory. I did lose a lot of my dragoons, so that was a costly mistake. Men. But we're gonna probably, uh. Alright, I'm gonna take my dragoons back out of this army. I'm gonna immediately replenish them. The and then these guys are just gonna kinda Make continue the pursuit. The my eyes are yours. And there's nothing to really see. They got two light cab, militia, and two horse artillery. Now, they've got some grenadiers. And, you know, I'm keeping a watch on that army because I do think they're going to, um. I'm actually going to try to get a peace deal again with the Spanish. But they don't want it even though I've taken a lot of their land and clearly winning the war. I just want that thing. And I'm willing to offer them a lot of money. At least as much money. I don't think I have a lot of money actually right now. Just want to win that peacefully. And I thought they were going to do it, but they didn't. Yeah, so I'm continuing to recruit some militia to kind of hold that area down. And look at this big empire I do have. And anyway, I got the USS Constitution in here. And I'm going to try to get some reinforcements down. Actually, I'm going to make some reinforcements and uh, put them on the boat. Now, I'm really shocked at how far these ships can go. Like, so this ship is going to basically sail almost to uh, Florida. Now, that is. Oh, yeah, and the powerful states are raiding my trade. I think I'm trading with the Ottomans, and that's what's being raided. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, Ottomans, that trade is not really important. Anyway, I got some more uh, spies coming down. We're basically locking down this area. We just want to have our eyes and ears open 
for uh, Spanish troops that could be coming up from Mexico. Now, I kind of probably going to have to split my force and kind of keep some because there's another army coming in from uh, Mexico that could attack. And that is, after all, a danger. So we're just at a turn ending here. The Mughal Empire just went in Afghanistan. You know, it's not going to be a nation for much longer. In this campaign, the steady progress I made. Russians also have a modern day flag, which is kind of interesting. Anyway. Oh uh, yeah, I'm going to have to attack them later too. That last faction that just went... Someone else died that we don't really care about. Got some ships. Can now send over these reinforcements. I think I'm actually recruit a couple more. I think I wanted to get a second army to kind of help out because I thought I might need it. <laughs> then I realized that my dragoons kind of suck. <laughs> the uh, the regiment of horse are uh, yeah, those guys have better melee stats than my dragoons. So I'm actually going to get some of those. I won't be able to use them, though. Because uh, I don't think they're going to get there in time. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying this campaign. Yeah, so I'm kind of like saying, okay, let's try to get this as minimum as possible. To have all these units just recruit. Then we can get that second army down. That's the plan. I'm gonna start researching this uh, technology to get me some more guys. Anyway, A missionary this priest is kind of being the spy. Yeah, I got my military thing there. I got some decent militia. Yes, sir. That army's kind of chilling in southern Mexico, so whatever. No, we just crushed that army. We're going to start marching on Santa Fe, I think. Yeah, we're going to march on Santa Fe. And that will be the campaign, but I will continue a little bit after just to complete my Afghanistan objective. You know, I got this full stack army. I was actually pretty shocked. Why is a British uh, scholar over there? So I think we're just about to end the part here. We're marching on Kabul. In the next part, I'll have an epic battle fighting against the Afghanistan forces. Hope to see you there as well. 221 Software, enjoy.